guys and welcome back to another episode of Metroid Other M. In the last episode, we got to the exam center and we started looking around some and got some information about the battleship and such. And in this episode, we'll be continuing looking around. If I can get... Okay, I'm having problems with my... Seriously. Go away! It's being annoying. In this episode, we'll be looking around some more, so let's go do that! And if you heard my phone buzz, I apologize. <laughs> And now we come through this time, and this door is unlocked, and it's basically a shortcut back to that room with a lot of doors. And I think this up here is Anthony and KG, or James, I'm not sure. Actually, who is that on the floor? Because I'm not sure. Okay, I just wanted to spin in a circle. I think it's James. No, it's KG! I was right the first time. get this neat little shortcut back to this area. Is this on the map? No, it's just all one big square. You can only see it on the mini map. As we walk towards the center door again, we can see all of them are open, which is strange because they weren't that way last time we walked through here. Suspicious noise! Look up and you'll see a bunch of Zapesians on the ceiling. Got this, Anthony. Don't worry. Jump on the head. Overload or overblast? Why am I calling it overload? I don't know. Um, very, very helpful tactic against these guys. Most Zabe there's one type of Zabezian that doesn't that you can't use Overblast on, and I'll address that when we encounter that type. But for now, Overblast is your best way of dealing with Zavisians. And if you destroy enough of them, they will go running off into the hallways, making chasing them more difficult. But it's still, it's not too bad. You just have to run them down. All right, took care of them. So let's follow after the others and make sure they got out okay. I recommend, when you pass through this time, I recommend if you lost any life at all fighting the Zabesians, I recommend you save. You are going to need all the life you can get in this next part. Oh, 
Oh no, that thing was after Samus. Huge surprise! It's always after me! Okay, this thing will jump down on top of you, and you gotta blast its tail enough time to get it off. Show me the tail! Show me the tail! Ow! Come on! No! Come on! Yeah, if I die at all, this will probably be the section I die. Come on! Show me the tail! Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead, I have two life left. Oh my gosh. If I get past it with two life, I'm going to be amazed. Oh my gosh. 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 <laughs> I did that with two life! Oh my lord! I can't believe that just happened. I literally thought I was going to die. Oh my gosh. You couldn't have done that earlier, Anthony! You okay, princess? I wanted to give you some cover earlier. But this thing takes forever to charge. I'll save the next shot for you. Not that you'll need it. Hey! Come over here! And my HUD is my What's up? HUD is red because I'm freaking dying. <laughs> Miles down. He looks like a pile of rags. What's gotta happen to a guy to make him look like that? So yeah, Lyle's dead. You wanna look over here and look at this green goo stuff that's on the ground. You can see it's the carcass of the little bird creature. So obviously that green stuff is his blood. An empty shell. Looks like that monster from earlier infiltrated Sector 3. Samus, follow it. So now we will be heading to Sector 3 to chase up. Chase? Chase up? Chase that thing! Or follow it. I'm gonna go over here where it smashed into the um holographic wall and go into the door right beneath it. And Samus lands the jump with stop. See, the creature really made a mess of things. It was clear that the Galactic Federation was developing bioweapons on the bottle ship. I thought we established this. I wonder if Adam came here knowing that. Regardless, I knew I had to talk to the person in charge. Madeline Bergman. Of course, she would have to be alive in order for me to do that. One leaves, the exam center comes crumbling to the ground. Samus, 
Start by searching areas you can access with your current equipment. We'll determine weapon and equipment authorization after we get a better understanding of the situation. Okay, so we are now in sector 3, which is the lava and heat sector. I'm just going to ignore those guys and move on. We've got a orange fire variant of the purple smoke guys. They do the same thing. I need health. Or, uh, it automatically restored a bar of my health. Oh, that's nice. Alright, when you walk up through here, make sure you sense move forward. If you don't want to get eaten, of course. Um, is that open? No, okay, no, that you, I have to open that later. Run through here. Go up to where these little light bugs are. Roll through here. Jump up here. Up here. Up here. And there's an energy part right around here. Need one more before we get another energy tank. Now, if you took as much damage as I did, you might want to come in here and save. Get your health back. Now, here's the really, really jerkish part about doing the first part of Sector 3. Going through here. As soon as you step out of this door, you will be taking heat damage. So you want to move as fast as you possibly can. Running away from this thing, I might add! Every time it jumps at you, you want to make sure you sense move. Ow, I didn't do it right there! Do it earlier. Get it out of the lava, Samus. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Frigging lava. Get out of the lava. And I got eaten. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's what happens when you die. <laughs> Whoops. Why did she jump in the lava? I didn't want to jump in the lava, and she wouldn't get out of the lava. And then I got eaten by a giant lava fish. Let's try this again. Let's try it again without dying this time. And I never can avoid that one right there. The love of all that is good and bright and beautiful, grab the ledge. Thank you. All right, made it back inside. That was way more difficult than it needed to be. Got some more Zabesians here. Anything about that fire nest right now? Try to shoot it. Shoot it. All of our attacks. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh! Avoiding meteors. Can't really shoot the little bug guys either because they're bringing fire. Looks like the normal beam won't have any impact on the enemies around here. Really? I I had no idea. Couldn't have done that earlier, Adam! And ignore my bickering family. They're bickering over the stupidest show in existence. Okay, got the ice beam. Now we can actually do something about these guys! Get off of me! I need to get rid of this Elysium. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on! Oh! Gosh. 
Please, 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 don't let me die. Thank you. Can you not be on fire? Thank you. Okay. It's way more difficult than it should have been. Before I leave the room, jump in here. Grab this actual charge. Alright. We've done that. This door. Um, excuse me, don't interrupt me with fire. Walk up here and we'll get a new variant of an old enemy. It's, this is a stronger version of the jumpy things. Ow, let, you can still jump on their heads. Okay, these ones can also charge you. You want to shoot them with a charge blast and it'll freeze their foot to the ground and they'll give you a chance to jump on their heads. Why I was trying to jump on them out. I'm just doing all sorts of things wrong today. Or two more. Okay, now that we've dealt with them, let's go through here. Uh, need to shoot that guy. Thank you. I'm just going to ignore that guy because he's not worth my time. Jump down here. I'm going to grab this ledge right here and then look up to shoot this button right here. And that will open the door just enough for us to get through. And it finally gives you a chance to save and get some health. <sighs> now I could end the episode here, but we're only at 17 minutes, so I think I want to go on for just a few more minutes. Taking some more heat damage, and then we got these new enemies that like slap lava men that slap onto the platforms. If you're still standing there, you obviously take damage. There's a missile tank right there we could get, but I'm going to get it later when I'm not taking freaking heat damage! Ow. They can shoot fireballs, they can slap down on the platform, they can also do that wide arc slap thing. Get out of the lava. Oh my lord. Samus, what is it with you and wanting to swim in lava lately? She's just wanting to swim all up in the lava and it's so annoying. <laughs> Samus, lava will melt your face. Stop trying to swim in it. Okay. Do that this time. Not falling in the lava. Very good. Through this hallway, blasting all these guys. Okay. Now this room right here, you get. We're getting ready to meet another jerkish enemy that I hate. Since move to the side. These guys! You charge shots, bounce right off their um, hard shot. You want to wait till they're exposed, that red stomach. 
wait till they're exposed by um, that. Or they stick their head out of their case. In which case, you can go ahead and finish them off directly, which is very nice when they do that. Okay. If you can't do that, though, you want to wait till they expose their red stomach. And then blast them in the stomach, and then you'll get a chance to hopefully do a lethal strike. Roll under the staircase. There's a missile tank under there. Um, I don't know. Can we do anything with this console yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, right here! If you're low on health, you might want to just stand outside for a minute um, and get your health down so you can replenish it. Um, I'm good though. I still got two bars, so I'm just gonna have to run ahead. You just gotta make sure you have at least 99 health to get across this walkway. You may need 99 health, you may be, need a little bit more. All I can recommend is just running as fast as you can. And I think that is where we're going to end the episode off. Next time on Metroid Other M, we're going to continue our investigation of Sector 3 and hopefully tracking down that creature we were chasing. See you guys then.